Hello everyone, this is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Uri. For today's restaurant adventure, I will be taking you to a Trinidadian restaurant called Joy's Roti Delight, located in Lauder Hill, Florida. Considering that my wife is a Trinidadian of South Asian descent, I'm surprised that I never explored the cuisine from my wife's homeland in my blogs. I chose Joy's Roti Delight because my wife and I had been patronizing the restaurant ever since we had been dating, and that was over 25 years ago. Additionally, at the time, Joy's was the only Trinidadian restaurant in the area and had served as a meeting spot for the local Trinidadian community. The food of Trinidad is a diverse cuisine of native Arawak, African, Chinese, and European roots, along with a strong East Indian influence. Joy's Rosie Delight's menu reflects a heavy East Indian cookery that originated from the thousands of immigrants who had arrived to the Caribbean in the 1800s and the early 1900s as indentured servants. These farm peoples, who came mostly from the Uttar Pradesh and Bihar regions of northern India, with a smaller minority from Tamil Nadu, were brought to Trinidad, Guyana, Jamaica, and other Caribbean locales to replace the West African slaves that had been freed by the British government following the Slavery Abolition Act in 1833. These indentured servants brought with them their language, their music, and their food. This resulted in a blend of cultures that morphed into a distinct Indo-Caribbean identity. Indo-Trinidadian cuisine is derived from the recipes brought from these various immigrants and was adapted to the seasonings available in the Caribbean at the time. Hence, unlike Indian food from India, Indo-Trinidadian cuisine is more basic in its use of spices and is less complex in flavor than its South Asian counterpart. In that sense, Indo-Trinidadian cuisine is in a unique class alone. Joy's Roti Delight was originally located in a small shop as part of the Lauder Hill Mall, where the food was served from steam tables and you ordered your food at the counter. The place was often crowded and noisy with blaring chutney, calypso, and soca music blasting from carnival-sized speakers. It was a great place for local trinis to hang out and spend the evening liming. However, several years back, in order to make room for their expanding customer base, Joy's moved to a freestanding building with a full liquor bar and table service. I went there recently about a year and a half after my wife and I had been there last. The restaurant was decorated with mannequins wearing traditional Indian clothing displayed on an upper loft. High on one of the walls was a giant sized painting of the now deceased owner, Joy. I started out my meal with a doubles, a popular Trini street snack. The doubles is made up of curry chickpeas called chana masala in Hindi and a sandwich between two seasoned and fried Indian flatbreads called bara. After being slathered with Trini habanero hot sauce, the doubles can be enjoyed as a sloppy sandwich or can be eaten with the fingers by using the top bara to scoop the curry chickpeas from the bottom bara. No matter which way you prefer, the doubles are always tasty and delicious. My next appetizer was a fried dough bread related to the Indian samosa and contained mashed Indian spiced potatoes. This is known as an alu pie, with alu being the Hindi word for potato. Seasoned with hot sauce and spicy tamarind chutney, it is the perfect on-the-go street food snack and is impeccably complemented with an icy cold Carib Trinidadian beer. Each swallow of the refreshing brew felt like a blessing to my throat. Since Joy's also has a nice selection of Trinidadian style Chinese food, I decided to try their chop suey. It was a healthy blend of cabbage, shredded carrots, bell peppers, garlic, and onions. Although I seasoned mine with some Trini hot sauce, I felt it could have used a little soy sauce to jazz up the flavor. I then had a roti for my main meal. Roti is the basic Hindi word to describe Indian flatbread. At Joy's, they serve three different kinds of roti asada or plain roti to be served with breakfast foods, paratha roti or basup shot, which is flaky and tender, and dal puri, an Indian flatbread stuffed with dried split peas. Although I prefer the buttery and flaky paratha roti, this time I got the dal puri. This humongous tortilla-like flatbread is wrapped around the curried meat filling to create something that resembles a King Kong-sized burrito. 
All three types of roti are cooked on a large flat metal pan called a tawa. Although Joy's has a variety of meat fillings, I always order the goat roti. The boneless goat meat is tender and bursting with flavor. It is outstanding! Mixed with curried aloo, it made such a hearty meal that I had trouble finishing it. For dessert, Joy's offers the crunchy and sweet fried dough snack of Indian origin called Kerma and the sweet and crunchy currants roll, along with other goodies such as soursop ice cream. However, for my dessert, I had a double shot of Angostura 1919 Trinidadian rum on the rocks. It was smooth and powerful with slightly sweet undertones. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this week's restaurant adventure. Thank you for tuning in. This is Stephen Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri signing off for now. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>